What's going on, YouTube fam? This is the Wealth Investing Network. We do this for the win. You're getting a sneak peek into my stock portfolio and a sneak peek into my research on stocks. Today, we're talking about ChargePoint and Beam Global. These are two companies that I love that are both in the EV space. Before we get into it, there's something I have to ask you to do. That's please hit that like button, turn it blue, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new. It really helps the channel grow and that helps me create better videos for you. That's a win-win and we like that here at the Wealth Investing Network. So getting back into these companies, ChargePoint was introduced to the market via SPAC or Special Purpose Acquisition Company. That's why when we're hearing Robinhood on their one-year chart, you see them trading at about $10 until the merger news was announced, confirmed, more and more positive news until the merger actually happened, which at that point, a lot of investors took profits, coupled with a general market sell-off, and we're bouncing back to a stock price of about $30 today. I got in around $13. I'd say I'm one of the lucky ones. As for Beam Global, they used to be called Envision Solar, so you might see that name as we go through the video. But back in the fall, they got some really positive news about their EV arcs. And this positive news shot them up to 30, reaching highs above 70, to crashing back down in this market sell-off. But a lot of people are buying the dip. And I'm long this stock as well. You can see my average cost there. So I'm going to go through a general overview of these companies, do a little comparison, share my opinion. But as I'm doing so, I want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. If you're here to follow my journey, great, because these videos are for entertainment. So I'm just showing you some of the things that I was looking at while I was doing my research on these companies. Building a sustainable future is becoming more and more important. Electric vehicles are gonna be a big part of that and electric vehicles need to be charged. When it comes to agnostic charging, ChargePoint is the leader in the space. You can talk in the comments if you want about how Tesla's the market leader, but their charging is not agnostic. You can charge pretty much any electric vehicle with ChargePoint's chargers, right? They make it easy for you. They literally have hundreds of thousands of places to charge in North America and Europe. And I've talked about this company before, so feel free to check out my previous videos and get caught up because I want to move quickly here. But look, there's a few different ways to charge your car. Generally, it takes a long time. You pretty much have to charge your car when it's parked and it's probably parked at home most of the time, but you could charge on the go, perhaps while you're at work or just when you're stopping in a store. And so there's different levels, level one, level two, DC fast charging which this is pretty much the quickest way you can charge your car. You can get your car most of the way charged in about 30 minutes. So while it might look similar to a gas station model, it's totally different. But ChargePoint is all over it. They're making money every step of the way, probably except for the actual electricity itself, which is coming from the power company, not them. So whether you're getting charging in your home or your small business, or let's say you have a fleet of a ton of vehicles, ChargePoint also offers a subscription solution that could help you manage your costs better. And so depending on your situation, you actually need construction and permits, monitoring. But like they say, they try to make it really easy for you. I highly recommend you check out their investor presentation. And obviously you can take some things with a grain of salt because it's coming from them, but they have 73% of market share in terms of level two charging. Their next competitors are very far behind. Even just as an example, we talked about Blink charging on the channel before. The stock's been doing fantastic, but not something I would invest in because look at their map compared to ChargePoint's map. To me, this signifies dominance that they are the market leader. They claim that drivers plug into the ChargePoint network every two seconds. So we're not just talking about residential. I'm very impressed by the commercial aspect, all the companies that are going with ChargePoint. And even though they're the market leader, they have all these customers. One thing that I like to track is their expansion over time and how they can expand to different countries because that opens up even more markets, which then makes it believable how they expect to increase their number of ports shipped over time and their revenue is expected to 10x and more in just a few years. And there's also ways that they can grow their revenue on existing ports by branding opportunities and partnerships with certain car companies. And speaking of partnerships, this is where I can talk about Beam Global. I love this company. I've done several videos about it on the channel. They are the world's fastest EV charging deployment, and they actually partner with ChargePoint. They're into EV charging, but it's really through solar. Their main product is this EV arc that you see here. They say they're the fastest deployed because they can really just drop these bad boys into an existing parking spot in a parking lot. And there's no permitting, no construction, no electrical work, no utility bill. These are all things that you would have to have with these other services like ChargePoint or Blink or even Tesla. But the genius part is they actually partner with Tesla, with ChargePoint. From what I can tell, they don't make actual ports. They use ChargePoint's ports or Tesla's ports or whoever's. They really don't need to make the ports. They're into the power source. And their main product is the EV Arc, but they plan to expand more into these solar trees 
for medium and heavy duty vehicles, more into DC fast charging, more into drones. I mean, essentially, if you can charge a drone through solar, it extends the range. So with Beam Global, you can drive on sunshine, but it's not all sunshine. One EV arc powers up to about 265 e-miles in a day. This number is actually increasing. They recently announced a 12% increase in the energy output. So I'm really excited that this number could go up. But basically what they're saying is if you have, let's say, a government fleet of vehicles or a business that wants an EV arc in their parking lot, you wouldn't be necessarily charging only one car from empty to full. You would be topping off a vehicle, let's say, while a customer comes into your store, or let's say you're a government office and you have a fleet of vehicles. Your vehicles might only drive a certain amount per day, and by the time your vehicles come back and park, this EV arc will have enough juice to charge multiple vehicles to replenish just what they drove throughout the day, which is enough considering the benefits that you don't have to actually do any construction or have any permits the fact that this bad boy can be deployed in a matter of minutes. And when you look at the news, a lot of cities are adapting to this model. And so really check out the news. A lot of positive stuff here. I was really impressed by their deployment of 30 EV arcs with Electrify America because essentially these bad boys are not cheap. Installing a charge point charger just based on my rough research might cost between, I don't know, nine and 15 grand to install initially. These are much more expensive up front, but then you don't have that ongoing utility bill. You just let the sun do its work. I could be wrong, but the price I've seen for these is about 60 grand. So the fact that they deployed 30, I mean, bear with me here. Let me just do some simple math. That's about $1.8 million. Okay, news is great and all, but we've got to get into some numbers. I did this based on rough estimates and what I could find. Check out my how to analyze stocks video if you want to know more about how I get these numbers. It's really just from sites like Yahoo Finance. Information is publicly available. And note, these numbers from Beam Global and ChargePoint Holdings Inc. can change very rapidly. These are fast moving companies. But as of today, we've got their stock prices, their market caps. ChargePoint is the much larger company. These companies are bringing in revenue, but not profits. So the PE ratios are negative. They have very high price to sales ratios. And that's, of course, based on their revenue. ChargePoint's bringing in about $150 million in revenue. Beam Global brought in about $5 million in the last 12 months, but they're reporting earnings soon. And I think we're going to see some tremendous growth here. And so getting back to the price to sales, you want this number as close to one as possible because this represents the price or really the market cap over the total revenue. So this is the multiple that you pay based on the actual revenue. And you pay a multiple for growth. ChargePoint, for example, is not gonna be bringing in revenue of 150 million for long. They're expected to bring in over a billion dollars in revenue in the next few years. Now they're not bringing in earnings because I guess they have a lot of expenses and they're investing back into their business, but ultimately they will have profits. I couldn't find good numbers for ChargePoint because it's so new to the stock market, but for Beam Global, they are expected to reach profitability in 2022 but this is just based on analysts, so take this with a grain of salt. I would more look out for guidance from earnings reports or perhaps what you hear straight from the CEO, but if a company doesn't meet analyst expectations, it has the potential to move the stock. So look, like I've said, do your own due diligence because these price to sales ratios are very high. Both of these companies have earnings coming up. I believe ChargePoint's earnings reports coming out today and Beam Global's will come out in about a month. If they can prove that they're growing at very rapid rates, if we see these revenues numbers going up, they'll catch up to this valuation. But also, as you can see, because they've been flying so high, they could definitely get knocked down a peg. I think we are seeing a rotation back into more speculative plays right now. That's why I do like to look at the actual valuation. And I like to look at the stock chart, but we're out of time today. Maybe next time I'll take you into the Weeble stock charts and show you the simple moving averages and some of the technical indicators that can tell you what would be a good price to buy these at but I'm long these stocks. I'm buying dips on these. And I wanna hear from you. Are you invested in these companies? Tell me about your journeys with these stocks or just feel free to ask questions. Maybe some of my other videos could answer questions for you. So I'll leave those in the description, check those out. And while you're in the description, you might as well leave a like. You might as well subscribe if you haven't already for that YouTube AI. And if you're too shy for the comments, you can always send me an email. This has been fun. Thanks so, so much for watching. I'm gonna go see if solar panels will lower my electric bill. See you in the next video.